Great, good day. So this is the one that I've told you, you know, part of your assessment number seven. Okay, so how do you solve logic puzzles using deductive reasoning? All right. So for example, no, uh, this is the question, right? This is not similar to your assessment, but uh, I mean, this is not your assessment, but this is uh, somehow similar to your assessment. Okay, so what we have here is a situation, no? I will read. Sally, Cheryl, Laura, Tom, and Sandy receive postcards from friends who are holidaying abroad. Four of them get postcards from France. All right. Cheryl and Tom do not get post do not get postcard from Germany as the others all do. Cheryl only gets a single card, which is from Italy. Only Sally and Sandy did not get postcards from Italy. All right. So the first sentence is your uh, situation, and then I mean all of them are your clue, but you will get your clue. Your clear clue starting from the second sentence up to the last part. Okay, so this will be the question. So from the statement above, it is asking who received a post a postcard from only Italy and France. All right. So checking on the question above uh, on the situation above, you cannot tell yet if who among them received a postcard from only Italy and France, all right? It is, it is not clear yet uh, at, as of the moment, all right? The second question is, who received the postcard from only France and Germany? Somehow you can uh, see or you can observe from the, from the given, you can answer that one, but we will uh, not answer it directly we will solve all of it uh, deductively, all right? So the third one is who received a postcard from all three countries? So again, from the given you or from the situation, you cannot tell it yet, all right? So what are we going to do or what you're going to do if you'll be, if you'll be uh, facing this kind of situations, no problems, my nani na situational, you are going to make a table, okay? something like this all right so i put all of their name and then the countries uh in which the the postcards are coming all right so we have here sally cheryl laura tom and sandy and for the countries it's france germany and italy all right so our first uh clue it says that four of them get postcards from france all right so take note that we don't know yet who among the five of them is uh, are are those people who are receiving from France because what I name nagibutang dire as you can see so you cannot answer it yet but we are going to go back in our first clue later on all right so stand by muna na siya ng clue because we don't know yet man all right kung kinsaan na nila ang upat all right we will try to find it out later Alright, so the second clue, it says, Cheryl and Tom do not get postcards from Germany as the others all do. Alright, si Cheryl kunog si Tom, si Tom, wala daw siya, wala sila nakadawat o postcard from Germany. So how are you going to mark that one in our table? You're going to mark them X, si Cheryl o si Tom, o si Tom. Why? Because, ingon man diya, nga wala sila kadawat from Germany. As the others all do. So, meaning, the rest of them, nakadawat daw. So, we will mark or we will put them check. Okay? Like that. Alright? Because, nakadawat man, the rest of them. Okay? So, that is how you are going to do it. The third clue, we have here, Cheryl only gets a single card, which is from Italy. Okay? So, si Cheryl Kuno, usara iyang nadawat that is coming from Italy. Okay? So, you're going to market uh, uh, Italy or check ni mo si Cheryl sa Italy. What else are you going to do? You're going to mark Cheryl X in France because the statement is saying na si Cheryl from Italy, Regiziana ka. 
what? So, considerably, wala na siya ilabot sa France. So, in our first, okay, sa atong first nga, nga, tawag niya ni Clue, it says here, four of them get postcards from France. So, it is clear now to us kinsa ang upat nga nakatawat sa France nga postcards. Because, ang gili na lang is upat. Because wala na ilabot si Cheryl. Because, ingon sa clue number three, sa Italy ra siya nakatawat. Alright? So, what we're going to do is we're going to mark them. Okay? Check. Okay? So, correct na na si Atanan. I mean, ang sa clue number one, di ay nato. Ang 4 di ay nga ipasabot diha is si Sally, si Laura, si Tom, o si Sandy. Alright? So now we will move to a word for two. Alright? Only Sally and Sandy did not get postcards from Italy. So si Sally ra daw o si Sandy ang wala ka daw at postcards from Italy. So we're going to mark Sally and Sandy X for the Italy. Since sila lang ang wala ko no kadawat. So, having that said, nga sila ra ang wa kadawat o postcard from Italy, automatically, we are going to check Laura and Tom here. Okay? So, now we have a complete set of data sa ato ang table. Now, we can answer our questions. Okay? So, the first question, who receives a postcard from only Italy and France? So, by scanning our data sa atong table above, Atong makita na the person who received postcard from only Italy and France, alright, is si Kinsaman. That is, alright, so kani siya, si Tom. Alright, si Tom lang ang nai-record diha nga nakadawat siya o postcard only from Italy and France. Wala siya ay Germany. Okay? Next, okay, next question. Who received a postcard from only France and Germany. From a word given, kinsaman ang nakadawat o postcard, gikan na ra sa France and Germany. So as you can see, naadiha first si Sally. No? Wala si Italy. And then, next, no, there is another one, which is si Canisia, si Sandy. So our answer for our second question is Sally and Sandy. Right? So very easy. Next, who received a postcard from all three countries? Okay, that's the last question. Kinsa daw nila nakadawat o sa tanan nga countries coming from all three countries? So, we have here, no, sa atong gita above, it is, yeah, so Laura. So, si Laura lang ang naay uh, postcard or nakareceive naka postcard from the, uh, uh, from the three countries among the five nga mga friends or nakadawat o postcards from their friends. Alright? So, that is how you go, you are going to answer if makasugat mo mga inanin yung question, guys. You're just going to make a table and then mark it from the clues deductively and then after that, you'll be able to answer the questions. Alright? So, that would be it and thank you.